Okay, let's see if this works. Right, can you give me a, a thumbs up in the, the chat or something so that I can can tell that this is working? Yeah, we can see the screen, oh, Anna. Lovely, thank you. Um, OK, so um, thank you for coming to the session on the CIA team, Community Inclusion and Activity Team. Um, oh. oh, no. Right. OK, sorry. So we are um, we were formerly known as Short Breaks. Um, but I think that led to quite a lot of confusion. So um, the decision was made, I think, over a year ago, um, certainly before I arrived, that we would change our name to uh, be more descriptive about what it is that we do. Um, so just to explain, I'm Emma Betridge. I'm the development officer for the uh, team and we have six coordinators. Um, they cover across Somerset. We have um, a team leader, Amanda Helica. She's on the call today, so she'll be um, available for, for the Q&A at the end. Help me out. So um, the name, the so community, because we, we wanted to enable children and young people with a disability or additional need, as well as their families, to access activities in their local community. Inclusion, we wanted them to feel included um, in their community, uh, particularly in, in clubs and activities. Um, activity, obviously, because that's that's the main part of what we do. We signpost um, young people and families to opportunities where they can access regular clubs, as well as activities during school holidays. Um, as a team, we, we offer some of these activities ourselves, and we work with a number of organisations who offer great activities. Um, this information is available in our online calendar and club booklet. And then team, because we obviously work as a team. It's a great team to work with. And they're all really lovely, really passionate about inclusive activities. Um, and we cover all of Somerset. We work directly with referred families, offering support, information and guidance, um, as well as obviously delivering activities and clubs. Um, and we're part of the wider children with disabilities team. So aims, um, we have three main aims. Uh, number one, to provide good quality services that offer fun and positive experiences for children with a disability or additional need aged 0 to 18. Uh, this is particularly where they're unable to easily access other activities in their local community. Um, number two, um, providing access to activities that help with personal, social, educational de development. Um, and as well as to provide um, parents and carers with a valuable break. I'm sure a lot of you could do with that. Um, a chance to, to have a break, to pursue other interests, um, spend time with other family members, maybe other siblings. Um, and thirdly, to offer a range of services which are suitable to meet the individual needs of all disabled children and young people. Um, so this is part, this is a statutory service. Um, providing services and support under the Chronically Sick and Disabled Persons Act 1970. Um, so in order to create the uh, the activity calendar and club booklet, we go through um, a grant funding process where um, Somerset Council grant fund a variety of providers to deliver inclusive activities during school holidays and clubs during term time. Um, so the criteria is that they must be inclusive and must be available to all children and young people with a disability or additional need who live in Somerset. So in order to um, um, make sure that it's consistent and fair and that we get a variety of uh, viewpoints, uh, we hold a grant panel before every school holiday or um, before we, we fund our clubs. Um, and this is where applications for funding are reviewed by representatives from the Parent Carer Forum, Early Support Team, Commissioning, Participation Officer, and most importantly, um, the Unstoppable Young Persons Champion. Obviously, a young person's viewpoint is, um, is more important than any of ours. So once we've agreed on the, um, the activities that are going to be grant funded, they are um, printed and recorded in our calendar and booklet. Uh, which is shared via the local offer website, uh, the local offer Facebook page, um, via the parent and carer forum, 
send a newsletter and via Senkos. So we do aim to keep the activities as fun and varied as possible. Um, for instance, Nova Sports have recently branched out into surfing and bouldering, which has been extremely popular with the young people. Um, other providers deliver animal care, arts and crafts, multi-sports, um, exploring nature. Um, we certainly found during the pandemic that activity packs have been particularly popular. Um, so that's something we'll, we'll consider moving forward. We'll continue moving forward. Um, but I mean, we're very much aware that there are gaps in provision. There are areas in Somerset where there aren't as many activities. They're not as easily accessible. Transport is an issue. Um, these are all issues that we will be looking at developing as we move into the year. Um, so we are always looking for new providers to broaden our offer. And again, that's something that I will be spending um, some time, so some time developing, um, going into different areas, finding out what um, inclusive activities are available, if there are any providers that we can encourage um, to apply for grant funding. Um, because that's, you know, that's the real issue that we have is, is, is actually encouraging providers to, to apply for funding. Um, and I think the pandemic has, has had a, a big impact on the number of providers that we have. Um, so um, as part of um, our, our service, we deliver activity days. We deliver um, family days where parents and carers and siblings can all take part in an activity day. Um, for instance, that might be a trip to Creeley, which is always very popular, um, or Noah's Ark Zoo. Um, coordinators are available on site, um, offering support, a base, um, helping out if there are any issues on the day. Um, we also run young persons days, um, and that's where parents and carers can drop off their child aged 8 to 18 at a group supervised activity. Um, so a few we've done in the past are a trip to Mill on the Brew and um, bowling. Um, young people new to the service do need to attend with a parent or carer initially. This is just so that we can um, supervise and see how they get on um, and observe how they get on within the, the um, activity, how they get on with the other young people, whether there are any issues that we need to be aware of. Um, really just to keep them safe and the other young people and to make sure that everyone enjoys the day um, and obviously if they in if they require one-to-one -one support then that's what we will expect when they attend our activity days. Um, we also run monthly family clubs. Uh, we currently hold one at Mendip School um, and we are starting one from March in Polden Bower so that's exciting moving forward. Um, Clubs are a great opportunity to uh, speak to one of our coordinators informally for advice, information and support. It's a chance for the children to have fun playing games, doing some arts and crafts together. Um, also an opportunity for parents and carers to, to have a chat, offer a bit of peer support, um, advice and, and uh, just to, to hang out with people that understand and have a nice cup of tea. So feedback, feedback is really important for us. Um, we really value um, you know, the feedback that you offer. Um, recently, there was a comment on the, the Facebook page about um, lack of provision in Minehead. So that's, that's really useful to know and, and something that we will look into. Um, so it is really important for informing the development of activity provision. Um, so the, the feedback photo in the middle is from a family day trip to Magdalen Farm. I think the young people really enjoyed themselves feeding the pigs and chickens and, and, and uh, foraging for vegetables. It was a really enjoyable day. Um, those, I won't read all of them, but uh, some of the feedback. An amazing day. Thank you so much for all being so wonderful. Uh, thank you for providing the space for our children to be adventurous on their own terms. I think that's really important where young people can have the freedom to be themselves. Um, thank you so much for an awesome day. I loved it. I liked all my new friends. A big, big thank you. Um, something else that we deliver um, is activity day passes and max cards. So the criteria is that you um, you'd have a child with a disability or additional need and again live in Somerset. Um, so activity day passes, uh, these are available to book throughout the year 
by emailing uh, the CIA team. Um, we've currently got family passes to Bristol Zoo, Wild Place, Hestercombe, Abbotsbury, Buxton Park, Court Farm Country Park, Fern Animal Sanctuary and Noah's Ark. Um, and you can also access Max cards. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so these um, provide discounts to a number of attractions, um, including Flip Out, Picorama, Minehead Eye, and there's so many more. So if you want to, to check out what um, active uh, attractions are available, um, go to mymaxcard.co.uk. Um, but if, if you are eligible, then just drop us a line and we can mail out a Max card. Um, the other area that we provide is, is short short term support, time limited support. So you can refer your, your child or young person for this in order to access information, advice, signposting and possible funding to help you access local opportunities. Um, the criteria for this is that you need to, your child needs to have um, a diagnosed. Oh, thank you. Um, the link to the Max card is now in the chat. So the criteria for accessing the CIA team is a diagnosed disability or currently going through the process of an assessment. If they have an education, health and care plan uh, or if they're in receipt of disability living allowance or personal independence payments. So this involves a coordinator um, phoning up and and then if it's appropriate, going out to visit a family, completing an early support record and plan. And this is to identify any short break needs and agree an action plan to meet those needs. Um, if it's clear that the family needs a bit more support in order to access activities um, or other services might be more appropriate, then cases can get stepped up to the Somerset Supporters Service or the early support team if targeted support needs are identified. So in order to um, access the CIA team, um, you can refer by calling Somerset Direct to request an assessment. Um, so feedback from those referrals from that um, time limited support, um, they've all been really positive, which is always lovely. Um, so just to read a few of these. Um, thank you for your email and for guiding us through the process. We often email a, a list of, of um, useful contacts and um, resources. It was uh, really helpful to talk about the different things that are out there to support my child. Um, thank you so much for your visit. It was nice to see you and have a chat. Can't wait for the trips now. Uh, you've completely blown me away with how well you've listened and put everything into words. Um, so obviously last year was was difficult with with the pandemic, with lockdowns, with restrictions. Um, we did have a number of providers that pulled out at quite short notice at times because of those issues. Um, but just to give you an overview of, of last year, um, 20 activity providers were grant funded. Um, they delivered 7,080 hours of inclusive activities for children and young people with SEND. 164 inclusive activity packs were delivered. Um, 463 children attended activity days and 578 activity day passes were used by families. That is the end of my presentation. Um, so I guess, yeah, now it's time for the, the Q&A. Amanda, if you'd like to uh, unmute and help out with any of the, the questions that you've got answers for. Um, so if people could um, pop, um, questions in the comments box. I don't know if we can unmute people. Um, 